In this demonstration I would like to show you a little bit about the resistance function and measuring resistance with a digital multimeter and why we cannot make resistance measurements on a circuit that has been powered up. So let's turn on the MTP meter here and I'm going to set it to one of the resistance ranges. Let's just start off at the 200 ohm range. I have a fluke meter here. It's auto ranging so I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to set it to measure DC volts. So these are the probes for the MTP meter. Let's just check and make sure our probes are working and they're connected to the meter properly. So I'm getting about 1.2 ohms. That's good. Let's do the same quickly for the fluke meter here. I'll just clip the leads together and you can see I'm getting about 0.1 ohms so it's telling me my meter leads are good and connected properly into the digital multimeters. So next what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the fluke to measure voltage and I'm going to connect the probes to the MTP meter. So red to red and black to black. And what you'll notice on the fluke meter that the MTP meter is actually producing 0.541 volts meter. Let's just see what happens as I increase the ranges. So I'm on the 2K range. It's still the voltage is still staying the same on the fluke. Not changing a whole lot through the ranges. It's just dropping slightly. I'm up at the 20 mega ohm range right now. I'm actually measuring the resistance of the fluke meter while I'm doing this. So on the 20 meg, uh, 200 mega ohm range, I'm actually getting close to uh, 3 volts DC and I'm getting 12.2 mega ohms from the fluke. Let's see how much voltage the fluke produces when it's set to the ohms function, resistance function. So I'm going to set this to measure resistance and I'm going to set my MTP meter to measure DC voltage. So I'll start out on the 20 volt range since I'm not sure what the fluke is going to put out. And let's connect the probes up again, red to red, black to black. You can see the fluke meter is actually producing about 2.62 volts DC. Fluke meter is actually measuring on the 20 volt range about 10 mega ohms. Let's see if it changes. So that's staying pretty, oops, staying pretty constant. To summarize, whenever making a resistance measurement, make sure that the power is turned off in the circuit. In our examples, the MTP meter was producing anywhere from 0.5 volts to almost 3 volts. And the fluke meter, when set to the 10 mega ohm range, was producing a little over 2.6 volts. If you do make a resistance measurement in a circuit that has power, the resistance measurement may be invalid and or you might even cause some damage to your multimeter, which you do not want to do.